Hi, this is Manmad Krishna. We are discussing about the important topic, the law of karma. So, it's a spiritual law. How can we explore the law of karma in our daily life to get the success? So, what is the mechanism in the law of karma? We will discuss this universe in the physical state is constantly trying to achieve equilibrium. A hot mug of coffee will constantly dispatch heat into the surrounding to become room temperature. I am standing here equilibrium because the way to the force I am applying to the act is being counted by the force of exactly the same magnitude in the opposite direction. How can we correlate the law of karma into the Newton's law of motion? Yes, there is a resemblance, there is a similarity. The law of motion <coughs> analogous to the law of karma. Ladies and gentlemen, the Newton's law of motion, the third law, what says? Every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So, in the principal explanation to the equilibrium, that the physical world is constantly trying to achieve on the metaphysical plane, Karma is the analogous of Newton's Tarula. If we do good, we will get good results. If we do bad, we will get bad results. Friends, if you invest in the present, written in the future, what you are here now, that was the first karma you did in the past. At present what you are performing, the results you will get in future. And the karma takes time to mature into a fruit and action causes reaction. And the reaction in the action to the next reaction. So when an action never in isolation, there is an action in the Bhagavad Gita, the Karma Siddhanta, Karmanye Adhikariste, Ya Palesu Kadachana, Ma Karma Pale Hetubo, Mate Sangals Hastu Akarmani. A man should perform his duty without considering the result of his reaction. According to Jim Collins' research, every leader in the world at the end they says one of the following things. I was lucky. God was on my side. I seemed to be guided. I was being looked after. I have been to be in the right place at the right time. Every leader expresses some gratitude to the universe. They have been guided. So you have to perform your action. Action means thinking also action and performing the work also comes under the action. Don't expect the results. The results are not in your hand. Keep on doing your actions. Keep on doing the good karma. One fine day, you will achieve the fruit of the karma. Karma having the time to mature its fruit. The third spiritual law is the law of karma. 
cause and effect our every action generates a force of energy the same kind will receive from the universe what we sow is what we reap if you emit positivity you will receive the positivity what we give the same will receive this is the universal phenomena how we can apply if you if your choices if your actions are making happiness and joy on others the same fruitful effect received from the universe how to apply the law of karma how to explore the law of karma in our daily life so by following the three components the first one is whenever we make any choices whenever we take any choices you witness the choice what you are taking you bring it the choice into your conscious awareness you bring the choice into your conscious awareness you think out see the present consciousness whatever your whatever you have whatever you are now on at present those were the choices with the those were the choices which were taken in the past whatever you are at present those were the choices taken in the past so that we have to take the right choices with your conscious awareness the first component and the second component is when we are taking the choices we have to ask ourselves a uh, two questions what are the consequences by making this choice will affect myself and the others the first question we have to ask ourselves and the second question the second question will this choice brings fulfillment and happiness to me and others who are around me these two questions we have to ask ourselves whenever we make any choices in decision making then after taking the choices the third component we have to apply the third component is we should request our inner being we should ask our inner being the choices what we are taken is it correct or not not the comfort or discomfort the choices what were the choices you have taken is it comfort or discomfort is it give the good results or bad results you have to ask your inner being i'll tell you my one thing my friends if your fundamental reality is the physical nature of body then you can't apply these principles in your daily life you can't transform if your fundamental reality is the pure consciousness the pure conscious awareness then you can feel the potential energy the infinite intelligence of the universe so if you feel the pure consciousness is the fundamental reality you can apply this before making the choices into final you should ask your inner being the inner being will guide you the inner being will express you the feeling of comfortness or the inner being exp- express you the feeling of discomfortness thank you for watching spiritual loss remaining spiritual loss 
we will discuss in our next video